lovelies and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be sharing a full spring home decor tour with you guys. I just did a full home spring cleaning. If you guys haven't seen that video yet I will link it on the iCard somewhere on the screen here. I think it comes up here. I think maybe it's over here. I'll link it for you guys so you guys can go watch that. It's definitely some extreme spring cleaning motivation. So if you guys need to do that still, head on over to that video and then pop back over to this video so you guys can watch how I decorate my entire home for spring. So like I said today, we are gonna be going through my spring home decor. A lot of it you could actually consider Easter. I do like to decorate for every holiday. If you guys have been following along for a little bit now, you will know that already. But a lot of the pieces that I've included can actually just be used for the entire season. And Easter is really late this year. It's like the very end of April. So those Easter decorations, you're really gonna get a lot of use out of. I'm gonna be going space by space and sharing with you guys all of the decor that I've done, where I've gotten it, whether or not it's from this year. And I will link whatever I can find online for you guys down in the description box per usual. The weather is definitely starting to be more springy and I'm really excited about that. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys have already decorated for your spring or Easter season. Also feel free to let me know what some of your favorite pieces are that you found this year where you found them, what are some of your favorite stores that you shop for for your spring decor or decor in general. Leave all of that, I'd love to know from you guys down below in the comment section. If you guys are new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button before you leave this video. I'd love to have you as a regular subscriber. We have so much exciting content coming up, I cannot even begin to tell you, so you will definitely want to subscribe and stick around for all of that. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see all of the home decor, and let's get into the video. As you can see, I'm starting out with the kitchen, and the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is this rug. It's so adorable, excuse how dirty it is. Um, it's still super adorable. It says, everybody welcome. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just so sad about it, to be honest. All of those spots are just from regular wear. We have other rugs that sit in here outside of Easter and they've never gotten dirty like this. So I think it's just the material of this particular rug that is not doing so hot so I guess have that as a grain of salt in the back of your mind if you want to get this rug maybe put it somewhere that's not going to get very much traffic so that it doesn't show the messiness unfortunately I do feel like this is going to be a one-time use um, which isn't the end of the world it was only like $12.99 but um, I think it's so cute and I don't want to have to throw it away but I think pretty much for certain at the end of the season, I'll be throwing this away. And then you guys will see throughout the house that I use towels as kind of a really easy way to change up decor for every season. So you'll see I have a couple tea towels. I usually keep that Buffalo Chuck one there year round and then I just add a festive one on top of it. And then the sink towel, um, I changed those out for spring slash Easter as well. Okay, so this is Hearth and Home from Target. These are super good quality. Like, I love her tea towels. This, I have no idea where it's from, you guys. I've had it for easily 10 years. I still just think it's very cute, and I use it just as decor, so that's how it stays looking nicer. Um, and then I got a bunch of tea towel, or not tea towels, a bunch of hand towels from Home Goods and TJ Maxx this year. So um, they come in like double sets and um, I usually share some with my mom um, and vice versa. So I don't constantly have duplicates, um, but I think that that's so cute and such an easy way to add in some festive decor. Then above our sink and like cooking area, I added, I added in some um, marble, pieces to me these look like stocking holders without the holder part um that's basically how they're set up so you guys can see they have like a wooden base and then the marble um at the top this one's an egg with some chevron like pearl detailing and then this one's just plain marble when i bought them the sticker said genuine marble <laughs> but um so they are kind of heavy but i don't know you know how authentic it is 
And then this little piece I actually got as a gift from a company um, from John Hancock. And it's just kind of like a marble um, bow succulent. And I think the succulent look is pretty cute. I'm not obsessed with it. So I just add it in here and there um, when I find like a little container that's cute. And I think that that one is, and it goes well with those two items. I had a felt wreath from last year. So I put this above, like this is our cabinet pantry area. I put this above there. Um, it's just kind of additional decor. And I think it's okay up there. It's not my favorite. It might not stay up there very long, but that's where I have it now. Still in our kitchen, this is our little regular dining table. It's almost like a breakfast nook area. This is where we eat the most often, and I made sure to add in a centerpiece this year to this table. So this first little guy is like a gold, silvery, glittered bunny. He's from Pier 1. So adorable. I got this for my birthday this year. They come in this posture, and then there's also another one where it's like laying down. So there's two different styles in that bunny. Um, I also picked up a cake stand from home goods it's the ray dunn brand i had seen where they had like easter themed cake stands and i thought they were so cute but i ended up just finding um kind of a normal one that says cake which i think is going to be good for year round anyways um because as you probably know ray dunn is highly sought after so it's kind of like dog eat dog in our area trying to find anything cute from ray dunn this is a paint your own birdhouse that I got from the dollar section and Calla painted it and eventually we're going to hang it up in the backyard but for now I just have it sitting right there because I think it's cute and goes along and then I added in some fresh flowers to this vase that my husband had flowers from Valentine's Day in I am not kidding you guys he got these flowers for six dollars from Trader Joe's I don't know if that's their regular price or if that's like a special price but I've had them for over a week I've never added any additional water since day one. I simply cut them, put them in here, and they've literally looked this beautiful for over a week. I am in shock. So I'm definitely going to go back and get more of these once those are completely dead. Um, but I definitely think, I've said definitely how many times now, I really think that the fresh flowers add in such a pretty spring touch. I know that um, like Home Goods and a lot of the places that I shop for decor from have vases with fake flowers and they look so pretty, but something about fresh flowers for me just really, like I said, adds the greatest touch. Okay, the next area I'm going to share with you guys is the living room. This is our main area and one of the places that I decorate the most um, every single season. So it definitely has a lot of the main decor and I'm going to go through each item with you guys. So over here on our door, I thought this wreath was so cute. It's from Target. It's a pom-pom wreath. Um, it was in the Easter section and I just, I had to have it, but I have I had no idea at the time where I was going to put it. Eventually, I think I'm going to put it somewhere in Calla's room, but for right now, it's on the back door, and she likes to come over, and it's at her height, so she can touch it really easily. I picked up this pillow from Home Goods. It's this, like, pink and white buffalo check. It's so soft. I love the feeling of it, and it has a couple different ties on the side, so it has a little bit of extra spring detail. I was going to pick up another one, but they only had one, so I just kind of mixed it in with a pillow that I already had from Pier 1, and that helped brighten up the room. The mantle is a huge decorating area for me. Um, it's the easiest place for me to put up decorations. So they're kind of out of the toddler's way, out of the dog's way. Um, so I think that it's just the easiest place for me to kind of go overboard and decorate. The mantle piece, um, the mantle cover, I should say, is from Pier 1. It's from a couple years ago, but they have something really similar this year. And I should just say every year, they have something really similar. So... If you guys are looking for a mantle cover for each season that is definitely my favorite place to go starting on this left side I kind of just have a mixed array of rabbits and eggs this egg back here you guys will remember from Kella's um, what I got my toddler or how I put together her Easter basket last year I can't remember the exact title um, but I put that in there because it actually does open up and you can put something in it this year I'm just putting it on my mantle I might incorporate it into the morning of Easter when she opens her basket, but for right now, it's just gonna go there. 
The wooden bunny I think is so cute. It has sequin and bead detailing on the side all the way around except for the feet. And I really like the coloring of the like pink and the silver. I've seen these before, but I've never really seen one that I liked as much as this one. That, I can't remember if I've already said, is from Home Goods as well. This little egg succulent is from Target. Again, it's fake. I, <laughs> they had several different greenery pieces that were kind of Easter themed this year. So if you guys are looking for something like that, definitely check them out. The little Easter egg back there is from Pier 1 years and years ago. But every year, you guys, they have really pretty decorative eggs. So you should definitely check them out. I have the small one and then I have the larger one here as a set and I separated them. Before we go to that side, I will show you. So this piece, um, this art piece, I actually have in the same style but different color up in our master bedroom, you guys will see. And I kind of do the same thing on each art piece because I think it's so pretty and convenient and that is I put a command hook right in the center um, of the top part of it basically and that way each season I can hang something on it because I think it's so cute. I got the inspiration from my mom. She did it and now I do it every season. <laughs> This little wreath is from Target. I actually had to pick it up online. I never actually saw it in store, but everybody asks me about it. I love that look. I actually was introduced to it around Christmas time. If you guys remember seeing my Christmas home decor tour, I had something really similar that I had picked up from a market um, convention center, but it was obviously like Christmas themed. And then I found this from Target. So what I'm talking about is basically the entire wire is blank except for a small portion of it, and then that's filled with florals. So I really love that look. And I thought it was so cute in this spring look, so I had to have that and put it as the center of my mantelpiece. Then on this side, I have a couple more eggs and rabbits. So that first egg I told you is from Pier 1. This little cake is actually a ring holder. We put candy in it for my daughter, and right now it's just sitting there because it looks cute, and it's kind of out of her way. Um, this little egg is actually a um, stackable egg wooden eggs so there's about four or five eggs in there and then the final one is a chick I got that from Target she loves playing with that um, so it's kind of a decoration and a toy that I can bring down whenever she wants to the bunnies behind it are Easter bunnies they are from Pier 1 years and years and years ago but um, I'm pretty sure I've seen something super similar at Michael's and Hobby Lobby still. Down here on our TV stand, I have this little decorative bunny I got from Pier 1 um, a couple years ago. I just put it there so Cal can play with it. It's, you know, kind of cute. It's not exactly my style of decoration, but she thinks it's really cute and likes to pat it and kiss it and say hi, so it's really cute for her. This piece I'm obsessed with. I got this from Hobby Lobby this year. I really like the wooden bunnies. You guys have probably seen them. And what I mean by that is not necessarily these wooden bunnies, but more along the line of, what are these, wicker? That wicker look where it's kind of woven. I think that's so cute. Hobby Lobby had a bunch of them with different flower detailing around it. I'm not really sure what faux flower that's supposed to be, but I thought it was the cutest out of the options that they had. And then the little burlap bow is really pretty. I also am really drawn to the wooden rabbits that are this shape like they're that large they're meant for the wall pretty much um but they're pretty expensive and the ones at Hobby Lobby didn't look as nice in my opinion as the expensive ones so I went with something like this instead and I think it's just so cute on the wall I'll send a as a gift. I'm gonna share with you guys I have to be really quiet because they're really close to Kala's room and she's napping right now this is our dining room. You guys have probably seen it before. I apologize about the lighting and I apologize about these being right here. We're having some issues with our kitchen lighting and Donald's working on that and I don't really have another good place to put them right now. So just ignore that. The first thing I will show you is I have this little decor area set up over on our piano. I picked up this glitter bunny this year from Hobby Lobby. They had a couple different styles. I thought he was so cute. And then these little clear canisters I keep out year round and I usually just add in some festive decor to them if it's appropriate. 
So I got these glitter eggs from Michaels last year and I added them in there and I think that they're perfect. This cute little bunny, um, it's like a wooden sign I got from Home Goods last year. She has glitter ears and eventually I might put that somewhere in Kala's room, but for right now I'm going to put it there. I think it's really cute. At some point we will probably host our family over for the Easter season, so I definitely have our dining room table kind of decked out. I have this tree, as you can see, that I got from Pier 1 years ago, and over the years I've just added little ornaments to it. And now that Cal is getting older, I think she's going to really love it. Down here I have a little activity that I got her from the Dollar Tree. She painted it. It's a canvas. I thought it was cute to add there. And then I got this little wooden basket from Target. Super cute. This table runner, um, I'm obsessed if you guys couldn't tell with the buffalo check pattern. And it's from Hobby Lobby and I pretty much have it out year round. Then on our lighting, I did something really similar for Christmas. I put in garland um, around the lamp. I just kind of sewed it through. I just kind of weaved it through. So I did the same thing with some felt garland that I had from Target last year. And I thought it turned out really delicate and cute. I'll bet you take it into the side. Room downstairs, I was going to share with you guys, is our office. I've added just a couple pieces in here and again I'm talking quietly because Kala's room is so close to this room I don't want to wake her up so I got both of these pieces from home goods this year this is the type of wooden bunny that I was talking to you guys about earlier um, or I should say this is the style I was talking to you guys about so it's kind of made out of just tons of wooden pieces I got this short sitting one because I thought it was really cute um, but they do, again, have that size like I showed you on the living room wall. They have it in that size as well. I got this little carrying dish um, from Home Goods as well. It's, again, a Ray Dunn find that I was shocked to find. I love this thing. I kind of wish my cake holder said that as well. But, you know, you can't be beggars or choosers, I guess, with the Ray Dunn stuff. So I picked this up and I'm just putting this here in an entry table so somebody could set their keys or their wallet or whatever they'd like on that table. In our built-ins I have just a couple of decorations. I have this little sign down here from Target last year and then I have this sign up here that says somebody loves you. That's from Home Goods as well. This is our master. If you guys are interested in me doing like a full master tour, let me know. We've recently added a lot of new pieces in here, so I'd be happy to go through and share with you guys where we've gotten everything, not just the spring decor. In the master, I don't do a whole bunch. I like to keep it kind of simple, um, especially with the decorations. I definitely want to use pieces that I can use pretty much the entire season through and even into summer. So I don't do quite as many just Easter decorations in here, um, but let's go through everything that I did do. I got this little burlap bunny a couple years ago at an Oklahoma um, market store. And it's just burlap. It's painted that chevron pink on the front. It has a little yarn tail. It's just so cute. I've seen so many of these still around not necessarily with the chevron pattern but at places like hobby lobby or michael's they have a lot of really similar burlap rabbits i did go ahead and change out our comforter this is now like a blushed tone nude pink comforter and it's cotton it's from target has a little bit of a pattern on it but it's not necessarily floral um, so it's not too overly feminine. I really like this comforter, not only because of the color, but also because it's lightweight. So as the weather changes, it's easier to have the comforter on the bed rather than kicking it off like our velour one that I use for fall and winter. This is my nightstand and I just wanted to show you guys a couple things over here. So one of the best ways to decorate, in my opinion, for spring and summer is to do fresh flowers. I mean, come on, pretty much fresh flowers are good for any time, but I really think specifically spring, these really pretty pink and white roses are just the nicest touch. These are actually the Eternity Roses from The Million Roses. My husband got them for me for my birthday, and that way I can have really nice roses for an extended period of time. 
if you guys are interested in seeing like a full review of my experience and my thoughts about the Eternity Roses from The Million Roses, let me know. Leave me a comment down below about that as well. As you guys have seen throughout the house, another way that I think is really easy to add in decoration for each season is to change up your Kleenex boxes. So we have them around all the time, especially with a toddler who is constantly making messes or needing to wipe their face. And these spring print Kleenex boxes in the Up and Up brand from Target, I think are so adorable and add in a nice spring decor touch. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is our center art piece, I guess you could call it. <laughs> um, this piece that sits above our bed. I really like to change up the decor on this art piece um, just because it's so convenient. It's kind of a focal point for the room and I can do something simple up there and it can be um, super impactful. It's just a gold woven um, Easter bunny shape with the really pretty floral crown. Has a peony, I think that is some glitter detailing and um, some greenery. So I think that's so cute, very springy, but also very Easter. Really the only other thing that I do for our master is I change up the hand towels. So I have these bunny, gray and white bunny hand towels with a little bit of a print on them for both me and my husband. Um, and I think that this is just a nice way to kind of change up your decor really easily. I got this as a set from Home Goods. They had so many different spring towels and it's just something easy for you to do throughout the house. I've done the same in our daughter's bathroom and our half bath downstairs. If you guys are wondering what this is, stay tuned. Definitely subscribe to our channel. Um, if you have it before you leave, I'm gonna be talking about what this is very soon. It's so easy, something you can include your family in on. And I actually think it's a really cute spring piece. You could add in different colored um, post-it notes to make it look springy or add in some florals in there. But again, I will talk to you guys more about what that is specifically, so stay tuned. <laughs> Really the only thing I did in her playroom was I added this Easter garland. It doesn't necessarily have to be just Easter because bunnies can also represent spring, so I really liked that. This is kind of a common thing that I've done in her playroom. I've added like really fun garland and I think that this is really cute. We recently added these llama string lights. They have different colored bandanas on them and I pretty much just leave them on all day long. And I do need to change the batteries, but I think that they're really cute, especially at night, because then you can see them lit up, and she likes saying hi to them. They're really cute. I do still have this unicorn succulent from Target. It's fake, and I got this for Valentine's Day, but I do think it's cute and still pretty springy, so I'm going to leave it out pretty much year-round, I think. The other piece that we've recently added in here is this storage container. So we have, when I've... So when I did the playroom tour, I showed you guys this piece. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will go ahead and link it on the iCard here for you guys to go and watch. That way you can see more in detail about her playroom. But back here in the closet, we had a lot of unused space. So I ordered this um, storage container, this hanging storage container off of Amazon, and we're able to store things on it that we don't necessarily have to have all the time, but we still need to store in the playroom. It is adjustable, so it does have the option to go one more row longer, but that would kind of impede getting into this toy bin, so we just have it three length now. Or actually, I think it's just, yeah, it's three tiered, one, two, three shelves. The last thing I will share with you guys about her playroom is we've recently added these wonder sticks. Now, there's nothing really technically springy about this, but I definitely wanted to include it because it was kind of a fun thing that we added in recently and you could do for your kids kind of as a spring kickoff. So we got these from our local toy store. If you guys have a Fat Brain Kids toy store, you should definitely check them out. That's where we got this. So we initially saw these being used on a chalkboard in the toy store, which she does have. And they are the coolest little wonder sticks, you guys. They're just so cool. Um, I would say they work even better than just regular chalk, and you can also use them on whiteboards, regular paper, glass, windows, wood, cardboard, not just chalkboards. Um, and they're pretty easy to get off. 
you just have to get like a wet paper towel. Um, they don't smudge too bad like regular chalk. Um, so they're just really cool. And they're a nice alternative to markers. Um, Kala really loves markers, but obviously they're a little bit more dangerous. Like she could easily use them to color on the walls um, or her clothes or herself and they're not quite as easy to get off so that's why we really love these and wanted to include them for you guys all right that is it for today's video you guys i hope you really enjoyed seeing my full home decor tour if you guys had any favorite pieces that you're needing to ask questions about or want to know in more detail definitely leave me a comment down below i got a lot of really positive feedback about last year's spring home decor tour so i'm going to go ahead and link that on the i card on the screen here as well in case you guys want to go check that out for reference it's actually at our old home so you guys will get to see a totally different space than the one that you just watched in this video for different kinds of inspiration you might see some of the same pieces of course because just a few of the pieces I've kept year after year as favorites but so many pieces this year were new um, we had a totally different space to decorate and I had so much fun I'm having so much fun every holiday like finding out what's going to work in this home it's just it's so amazing. We're coming up on one year in this home here in a couple months, and that is crazy to me. It feels like we just moved in a day ago. <sighs> but every season, I'm really enjoying decorating. If you guys are interested in seeing a full tour of any specific room, let me know by leaving a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!